Good morning and welcome back to the New Forest on a typical grey, chilly, late winter morning. Well this is the first video diary of 2023 so we'll be looking back at some of the things that have gone on in the forest during January and February. So let's go and see what happened. Oh and look out for some foreign interlopers towards the end of the video. The year began with mild but wet days, with some sunshine in between. Typical winter weather when the westerly winds blow. At least the mild weather helped to keep the energy bills down. The ground was pretty wet underfoot and I was very surprised to bump into this person one morning, walking around in bare feet. I presume he was forest bathing. I hope he didn't tread on any holly leaves. Speaking of holly, before Christmas, I hardly saw holly berry on the holly bushes. Then, in the first week of January, I came upon this holly bush, covered in berries. I wonder why the birds haven't eaten them. The sunny days were welcomed by the animals. Do you notice that the fallow deer at the back only has one antler? I think this one's too posh to wash. The mild days in the first half of January brought on some early bird song. I heard several birds, including the beautiful song thrush, which is always one of the earliest singers. In the middle of January, the weather turned much colder and the birds went quiet. Apart from the heavy frosts, we had some lovely sunrises. These are beautifully captured here in these images by Annette Gregory. This looks like spring water flowing into a stream. In fact, it's a water leak. The icy weather caused problems with water leaks and drains bursting. Here's another one coming up through the tarmac. The water that leaked flowed into the drainage ditch and eventually joined the river Test. The burst caused more potholes in the road. The rising main in Copythorn also began to leak and the waste had to be pumped away using a fleet of 12 tankers, which caused a few hold-ups. The tankers were soon replaced by a large temporary pipe that closed the road and ran from one end of Pollard's Moor Road to the other, nearly a kilometre of pipework. On and on it goes, until it joins back to the main drainage. It's easy to forget what goes on under our feet that we take for granted until it goes wrong. Late January and early February were milder and quite dry. February the 2nd is Candlemas Day. There's a weather rhyme associated with Candlemas Day. If Candlemas Day be fair and bright, winter will have another fight. If Candlemas Day bring cloud and rain, winter won't come back again. Well, Candlemas Day this year was somewhere in between, but more on the fair and bright side, with no rain. So perhaps we've got more winter to come. The ponies will be hoping for spring to arrive. When grazing's limited, they eat the leaves on the holly and the gorse. These ponies waded into one of the many boggy areas to reach some grass. But don't worry, they managed to get out okay. Oh, what's this? This is one of the foreign interlopers that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. We escaped winter for a couple of weeks and went to Costa Rica to see some tropical wildlife. If you're interested in what we saw, there's a link to the first video at the top of the page and in the text below. As February progressed, the spring flowers started to appear. 
helped by the mild weather. Then we had another cold spell that put the flowers back a bit. The cold spell lasted for about a week and then on February the 19th we had a glorious sunny warm day. I saw an early yellow brimstone butterfly fluttering around. These are usually the first butterflies to appear but I've never seen one this early before. I was even more surprised to see two red admirals. I hope they find somewhere to shelter from the cold nights. This became a common sound in the last couple of weeks of February. It's a woodpecker of course, but I don't know which one. I was out walking one day and came upon these. The white ones aren't albinos. White is a recognised colour variation of fallow deer. Sorry about the quality. It was filmed on my phone camera, which focused on the branches and not the deer. Down at Keyhaven on the coast, Alan Forder saw a spoonbill, amongst many other birds. Spoonbills used to be a very rare visitor to our area, but they've become more frequent in recent years. I still haven't managed to see one yet though. While we're down on the coast, do you remember from the last video diary that Thor the walrus turned up on Calshot Beach in December? Well, at the end of February, he's arrived in Iceland. He's well on his way back to the Arctic Circle after his holiday in the English Channel. On February the 27th, I went back to see if the holly bush still had berries. And it did. It's still covered in red berries. There was even a blackbird in the bush when I took the photo, which was showing no interest in the berries at all. I think they must be very sour. And that brings us to the end of February, which has been the driest February in England for 30 years. Let's hope we don't have a washout summer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel to see more videos from The Country Traveller.